G'day guys, Borsak here with another Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. Um, it's been a little while since I've made one of these and I've just kind of been ticking along in the game. But in the last month, I have unlocked this guy right here, Lord Vader. And I've been having a lot of fun with this character. Uh, if you pair him up with the right team, which I think is this one here, with Vader, Piet, Maul and Royal Guard, he can literally defeat every other team in the game. Uh, he's a very expensive team, granted. Um, but if you use your roster carefully, uh, taking advantages of tunes like Mara Jade, uh, Iden Versio, um, General Veers, Moff Gideon, and Bo-Katan lead, for example, you can uh, use those slightly lesser teams to take out still fairly strong teams, and then use your full strength Lord Vader to demolish things like Jedi Master Kenobi, um, which I've been doing day in, day out, for just a bit of fun in the squad arena. And I just wanted to show how I've been doing that. So here is the gameplay. So these battles go in two halves. The first half being to control the, gen uh, the Master Kenobi team and to kill the General Kenobi. And the second half is just about obliterating the rest of the team. It's very important that at the start, you use your Maul to reduce the cooldowns of Commander Tano or else you're gonna be losing someone very early on. I like to um, build my stacks of anguish back up to five after Maul's first turn, so only using two seething rages. Um, so I can do a bit more damage to General Kenobi on his second blast. Uh, with Vader, I usually target Commander Tano, clear off all the foresights, put a big hit on General Kenobi, and then ability block the rest of the team. Um, hopefully, when you finish with this turn, you've got the, the team pretty much locked down and under control. Okay, now we're going to basically try and maintain the control on the team um, until we hit our ultimates and wipe out the General Kenobi, um, <clears throat> at which point we're just going to work on obliterating the rest of the team. Oh, so he lost his ability block there. I have no idea how he loses his ability block there, but it's very annoying. Uh, I'm going to put one more control hit on Commander Tano, then we're going to go all in on General Kenobi, and the idea with this turn is to get rid of that first... Um, <clears throat> first savior mechanic on General Kenobi, and then hopefully uh, we'll be able to do enough damage to put him down um, right now. Nope, not quite. Okay, right now. So now we've got General Kenobi out of the picture before the Master Kenobi has hit their ultimate. Um, actually, that's timed out really well because we're going to put the control back on the team with those dazes and ability blocks. Um, I will generally build back up to 5 Anguish now, but it, honestly, it, I don't think it really matters too much with Maul at this point. Um, from this point out, we're just basically obliterating Cat as fast as possible. Um, hope she doesn't get one of her uh, annoying Annihilates off. Um, <clears throat> and then, um, yeah, we'll basically wipe out the rest of the team. Um, yeah, something like that. So generally I can get away with uh, winning the battle with all five standing. Sometimes I lose uh, Maul or Vader or, you know, somebody puts down some kind of big ridiculous hit, which is, uh, you know, seethingly annoying, but it does happen. Um, the other bad cases are if you don't kill, um, <clears throat> if you don't kill off uh, General Kenobi before the ultimate, it makes the battle a lot more tricky. Um, and occasionally um, they get some really big random hits off. Um, one of the things about this team, I guess, is that occasionally it does some really weird plays um, and, you know, might wipe out a couple of your tunes. But most of the time it kind of ends up about like this um, and you end up, uh, yeah, controlling the, this, controlling the situation, fall back to Gideon there, and then uh, obliterating the rest of the team. Uh, what I'll do now is I'll put some of the uh, worst case battles um, uh, on in two speed after this, um, one where I uh, didn't fail to kill General Kenobi in time, which is just a bit of a headache and makes the battle go a lot longer, and another one where Gas went absolutely ballistic and then managed to obliterate both Maul and, and Darth Vader in the same turn. Somehow, um, both battles are still very winnable, as you will see, um, and this is a very, very strong team. Um, highly recommend it, it's lots of fun too. Um, I will note, of course, that you can you can uh, just about auto after you uh, put the correct hit on Command Tano at the start, and I would say probably 8 out of 10 times it wins the battle on auto. Um, not quite as good as uh, the mirror match, um, Jedi Master Kenobi versus Jedi Master Kenobi, which is about 100%. Um, and this team will just about auto every other team. Um, the only other team that I really need to play is Ray. 
because uh, that team does some funky stuff now and then, and you tend to waste some, some weird things while she's in her ultimate stance. Anyway, guys, thank, anyway, guys thanks for, uh, for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye. to the Republic, to democracy! If you're not with me, 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 then you're my enemy, me, 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 me. If you're not with me, 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 then you're my enemy, me, 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 me. I brought peace. I brought sand. I brought justice. I brought freedom. I brought peace. I brought sand. I brought security to my new empire. What have I done? Someday I will be. Someday I will be. I will be the most powerful Jedi ever. Try it. 